Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, a lot of people recently noticed that on my new channel on Facebook Gaming, which you should definitely check it out, uh, I posted a video where I had a character do custom lip sync using my own dialogue. And some people actually thought that it was actually just a built in feature of Halo 2, where in multiplayer, if you talk, the lips move. But that's actually not the case. You do need to use mod tools to do this. So without further ado, here's the tutorial to get it all set up and how it all works. So first, you need to do this on the Halo 2 mod tools. Halo 3 mod tools don't support sound at all, so you can't do this on Halo 3. But if, if it did support sound, then it would be a pretty similar process as this. But anyways, once you've installed the Halo 2 mod tools, you want to go to where it's installed. It's in the H2EK folder wherever you installed it. And in this folder will be a data.zip and a tags.zip file. You just want to extract those two zip files uh, using WinRAR or whatever software you want to use. And the tags.zip folder is pretty big and can take a few minutes to fully extract, especially if you don't have an SSD. But once it's done extracting, you should have two new folders in your H2EK folder called tags and data. Don't worry about all the other tag folders you see there. Those are just the other projects I've been working on in the past. But you should have tags and data. And these are two very important folders uh, for this project that you'll need. For any project, actually, that you do with mod tools. All right, so step two, to actually do all this sound importing stuff, there's a few required tools and programs that you need. You need two programs. One is called Impersonator Studio. Another, one's, uh, another one is called Osoyuz, and you also need this folder for files here, which I will post all the download links you need in the description below. You need Impersonator, you need the files in this folder, and you also need the Osoyuz tool, which I will show you how to set up in just a minute. But these are all essential files that you'll need to, uh, to get all this lip sync stuff working. Now, as for Osoyuz, this is, uh, this is technically optional, but it'd be a lot easier. It's very convenient to help you uh, use. But anyways, on your first run, you should have this thing pop up uh, for your toolkit profiles. And you just need to um, follow the instructions to set it up and just point it to where all your mod tool files are stored. Make sure to set it to Halo 2 and MCC build, and you should be all good with Osoyuz. So next, for step three, we're gonna prepare our custom dialogue. So use any sound recording program like Audacity and just record whatever dialogue you want. Just uh, you know, record it, edit it a little bit, clean it up if you want, boost the volume if you need to, and then export it as a .wav file. And I would put it in the same folder as the other files uh, that I mentioned earlier, all the lip sync tool files. You don't. You can put it anywhere you want, but just name it something you'll remember. In this case, I'm just gonna name it Test. You can name it whatever you want, but the name is important, so just remember what you named it. So now in my uh, lip sync tool folder here, that's where I saved it, Test.wave. So that we're all good there. Next, you want to go to the dialog.txt file in that folder, and everything you just said in your narration in your dialog. You want to type it out exactly as you said it, word for word, or at least as close as you can get it. It's very important that you type out the script. Uh, you can type it out before or after, it doesn't matter, just to make sure it matches what you said in your recording. Otherwise, your results will be a little inaccurate. So just uh, keep that in mind. Next, you want to go back to Impersonator Studio, which we installed earlier and you want to start a new session and then open the WAV file that you saved, your narration. Just go to the folder, wherever you know this is. Just open it, then open... Well, there should only be one of each file, so it's pretty self-explanatory, but open the, the dialog file, the map file, uh, and that's it. So once it's open, you're actually pretty good here. Uh, you should, you could, if you want, edit the lip sync a little bit for advanced users, but for most people, you should just be able to go to the next um, the next step in this, which is to go to File, and then Save LTF. So just click on that, and then 
Go to the folder where your WAV file is stored, which uh, is the lip sync tool folder for me, and then name it the same name as your WAV file, which in my case is test. After that, you should have test.ltf and test.wav in this folder. All right, so now we can move on to the next main step for step four, which is import dialog into Halo 2. So with your two files here, now we can go to our H2EK folder again, your Halo 2 modules folder. You wanna to go to data and you wanna create a new folder in data called sound, singular, not sounds, just sound. And then create another folder called test or whatever you wanna name it. But again, these names are important to remember. But go into the folder you just made and then you can copy your two files over here. And that's it for the sound files. Next, you wanna go back to the data folder and then go to scenario. And depending on if you're doing campaign or multiplayer, you want to do either solo or multi. In this case, we'll do multi. Now, if the map that you want to do this on isn't in here, just simply create a new folder and name it after the map, the actual game file name of it, not the in-game name. Sometimes it's not always the same. But once you create that folder, go in here and then make a new folder called scripts, plural, just scripts with an S at the end. And then create a new file, a new text file, and we're going to call it, um, dialog underscore script dot hsc and then after that just open it in notepad or whatever text editor you like to use and type the following so left parentheses script space static space void space start underscore dialog and then go to the next line type in in parentheses sleep space 10 you could probably just like follow it in the video it should be hopefully clear enough for you to see but sleep 10 that makes the game wait for uh, 10 ticks, I believe, before it actually plays the dialogue. You could change that however you want, however long of a delay, or if you don't want any delay at all, you could just leave that line out. Next line is in parentheses unit underscore set underscore emotional underscore state. And then we're gonna call it character one. You can name your character whatever you want, but character one is just the example, but the name is important. So remember what you named it. In this case, we're calling it character one and then we're setting the emotional state to happy. You could choose whatever emotional state you want. And then the numbers afterwards, well, I'm not sure. They, they control like the level of happiness or the emotions. You could mess around with those. And then the next line in parentheses, sound underscore impulse underscore start. And then the location where your file is located, which in this case is sound backslash test, which is that folder we made. And then backslash test again, which is the actual file, the WAV file. And then after that, you type in the character again, character one, same name. And then you put a one after that as well. You know, there's a space in between. And then finally put one more right parentheses at the end of this and then save it. And that's your whole script. Next, we're actually gonna import the sound finally. So go back to Osoyuz and then go to uh, import sound in Osoyuz. Then go to browse Go to wherever your WAV file is stored, which is uh, which should be in the data folder. Data, and then sound, test. Now this folder is going to be empty here, but that's okay. Just click select folder at the bottom, and then make sure it's set to cinematic dialogue. And then just use the same settings as me, and then just import sounds. And it'll only take like a second import. Once it's done, you can close this window, and you're all done this step. So. For step five, we're going to set up the map itself. So in your modules folder, the H2EK folder, just go back to that folder, open up sapien.exe, and then navigate to your mod folder again in here, H2EK, and then go to tags, go to scenarios, and then once again, depending on if you're doing solo or multiplayer, uh, pick which one, but we're doing multiplayer here. So go to multiplayer or multi and then Zanzibar and then select the dot scenario file for whatever map you're doing. In this case, it's Zanzibar dot scenario. And then it'll take a, like a minute to load up. And in your game window down here in the bottom right, you can move the camera around by clicking down the middle mouse button and then using the WASD keys to fly around. So just fly to wherever you want to place your character and then go to, uh, so there's a bunch of windows here, go to the hierarchy view here, 
and then expand that first box, then expand units, then click on biped. Once biped is highlighted, click on edit types. And then right now only two bipeds are available, Master Chief and Elite. If you want to use Elite, then you're you not to do anything else. You could just kind of skip ahead a little bit. But to add more characters, click on add. And then once again, navigate back to your H2EK folder. And then go to tags, go to objects. And then in here, go to characters. And then choose whichever character you want. Now keep in mind, not every character has lip sync animation. So this won't work with, say, like a jackal, for example. But it will work with plenty of other characters. Now for this tutorial, we're just going to do a marine. So go into the folder of whichever character you want to do, and then find their biped tag, their dot biped tag. Some characters might have multiple biped tags. Just pick whichever one you want, and then add tag, and then click done. Then go to the properties window here. At the top where it says type, click the drop down box, and then select the character that you want to use. In this case, we're going to select a marine. Now go back to your game window here, just look around and then right click on your mouse wherever you want to place your marine. And then you can use the little arrow down there, that yellow arrow to rotate the marine around. And then that box to move the marine around. And that's it. Now the marine is in place. Now go back to the properties window here. And then where it says name, you want to type in the name that you picked in your script. Now in this tutorial, we picked character one. So just type character one here if you're following the script following this tutorial exactly and then if you want you can set a variant of the marine if you know the variant names you could uh, just set it here but we're just gonna leave it blank for default because this is one of the default marines so that's uh that's it now next I'm gonna go up here to scenario and then click add mission script once again go back to your h2k folder go to the data folder go to scenarios multi and then the map that you're working on in this case Zanzibar and then add that script you created earlier the .hsc file after that go to file and then compile scripts and you're pretty much all set I would recommend you save your work here as well just in case uh, it crashes or something but next if you want to test in a game window just press your tilde key it's a little key next to the one on your keyboard and then type start underscore dialogue and then press enter and it'll, the Marine will start playing the dialogue and start talking. And you're pretty much done at this point. Uh, but of course, if you actually want to run it in-game, then what we can do next is we can use the tag test build of Halo 2. To run it on MCC would take a few more steps, which I could do in a future video, but for now this will probably be good enough for most people. So in your H2EK folder, start up the uh, Halo 2 tag test exe file there. And it will launch what appears to be Halo 2 Vista, but it's actually a special version of Halo 2 Vista. Just like with Halo 3, if you saw my video on that. But just go to Network, create a new session, and then select uh, the map that you worked on, in this case Zanzibar. And then once you're in game, you can press Backspace to go to uh, Fly Cam mode. Or third person, whichever you want, but we're just going to go to um, just the Fly Cam. And we're going to go to where our Marine is. And once you're here, just same thing, press the tilde key and then type start underscore dialogue. Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. This is just a test recording to give you all an example of how lip sync works in Halo 2. Hopefully this guide turns out to be helpful for you all, so enjoy. Alright, so there you guys have it. That is how you import custom dialogue into Halo 2 with lip sync. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial to be very helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. And hopefully you guys uh, have fun making all your custom projects or whatever. Uh, but if you have any questions or any feedback or any comments, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And aside from that, I will see you all next time. Bye guys.